Next, we'll head to artboard number seven, and we're going to take a look at pattern brushes. Uh, right down at the bottom of the brushes panel, I have made a pattern brush of some boot prints. I'll go to the tools panel to activate the paintbrush tool and then left click on the brush itself in the thumbnail in the brushes panel. And I'll just click and drag and draw a long sweeping curve through the middle of the artboard to apply that. And that gives us boot prints. So that is a repeating pattern of the same Illustrator artwork. And to show you how that works, I'll double left click on the brush thumbnail and that opens up the pattern brush options. The name field will be highlighted by default. So I'll just change the name of that to boot print. You'll notice that we have five squares in the upper middle section. And those are to characterize how the pattern brush will appear in certain situations. This pattern brush only has characteristics for the straight sections, but it is also possible to characterize what the outside or the inside corners could look like and the start and the end of the brush stroke as well. You don't have to stick with the original colors in the artwork that were made to create the brush either. By changing the colorization method to tints and shades, this means that you could either go back and select an existing pattern brush and change its stroke color or specify different stroke colors with completely new brush strokes. And those are pan brushes.